see you again. Such a pleasure. And welcome back. How was your trip? Good to see you. After leaving the DRC for an emergency at Okapi Sweden office, Just after two days in Sweden, Giselle must still travel to Kenya for five days and still return to the DRC Saturday, February 29, 2020. After a quick stopover in Amsterdam, she chose to travel with the African company Kenya Airways, which is the pride of Africa. Too much back and forth, not really easy the life of an entrepreneur. But passion is what gives Giselle the strength to work hard even when she is very tired. And her persistence in working hard despite the fatigue made her a strong woman that nothing can stop. Wakanda is not just an imaginary city from a movie, but an achievable prophecy if every African decides to dedicate every minute of his time to realizing this great vision for Africa. But for Giselle Mwepu, the big vision begins by empowering the most disadvantaged. This is why Giselle Mwepu, Okapi Finance CEO and founder, firmly believes that helping African mothers get out of poverty by technology. It is nurturing the embryo of this great dream of Wakanda, which will one day become the reality of a proud, successful and prosperous Africa.
some flowers and the eternal way. Wow, crazy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Even if we must dream of the future Africa Wakanda for life. For Giselle, it is important not to forget our origins. Arrival Sunday, February the 23rd, before a very busy week starting Monday, February the 24th. After the DRC, Senegal, Giselle Mwepu, Okapi Finance CEO and founder, held a visit to the National Museum in Nairobi, Kenya.
Stay tuned for the rest of Jazam Wepu's trip to Nairobi in Kenya, the country of origin of Barack Obama. To Okapi, our mission is to bank the unbanked by actively participating in financial inclusion. Okapi's services increase accessibility to financial services. Okapi is a Swedish uh, fintech company with the mission to achieve financial inclusion. <laughs>